In this video, I am going to say a little thing about motor. Whenever a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field, it experiences a force. Let me see with a simple example. When a single current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field, it experiences a force, but the force may not be seen. If a few winding of current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field, the force can be seen visibly. To see this, let me construct a simple motor. For this experiment, we take a long wire and wound it like a coil. Remove insulation at the both end of the wire. The important thing is the coil should be insulated and move freely. The both end of the wire is connected with the battery and placed in a magnetic field. The coil experiences a force and start to rotate. The key principle of this experiment is the coil produces magnetic flux, so the coil behaves like a temporary magnet. So the coil magnetic field north pole and south pole which oppose the main magnetic field. Due to this reaction between two magnetic field. The coil start to move according to the Fleming left hand rule. We see two fact about motor. Number one, starting current. When we start the motor, initially it considered as short circuit and very high current flow on it. After in fraction of second, the coil generate the magnetic field and the current flow also opposed by the magnetic field generated by its own coil. So the current gradually reduced to the normal. Generally, the starting current vary from three to seven times of its full load current, depending on the type of the motor. This we can see with a simple example. In our house, we are using more motor for different purpose. If you are going to start all motor at the same time, each motor start to consume more current for a few seconds. Since all motor connected in a single circuit, all current added in a circuit, and and your home fuse will blow. Again, motor can be used as a generator. I'm going to show this with a simple example. For this experiment, take two permanent magnet DC motor, one rubber band, one LED bulb, and three volt battery. Let me go into the experiment. Step one: fix the two permanent magnet DC motor with a small distance. Step two: fix the pulley on the top of the rotor and connect the two pulley with the rubber band. Step three: connect three volt bulb to the one of the motor. Step four: if we connect other motor with the three volt battery, you can notice that the battery connector motor start to rotate and transfer the rotating force to the other motor through rubber band. When the motor two start to rotate, we can see that bulb glowing. The bulb glows since the motor act as a generator. This experiment all can do in your home. Since permanent magnet motor, bulb and battery can be available in old Walkman or you can buy in nearby electronics shop. And also the experiment is quite simple and easy. From this video, I am assuming that I am able to give some little valuable information to you all. Thank you.